Hello and welcome once again to mathswithdavid.com. I'm David Swanson and today we're going to look at a complex numbers question on the Pure Mathematics 3 Cambridge International A Level paper. I'll start by reading through the question. The complex number z is defined by z equals 9 root 3 plus 9i all over root 3 minus i. Find, showing all your working, 1. An expression for z in the form r e to the i theta, where r is greater than 0 and minus pi is less than theta, which is less than equal to pi. 2. The two square roots of z, giving your answers in the form r e to the i theta, where r is greater than 0 and minus pi is less than theta, which is less than equal to pi. So for the first part, in order to put our complex number into exponential form, we'll have to find r, which is the modulus of the complex number, and we'll have to find theta, which is the argument of the complex number. But before we do that, we've got a bit of a messy complex number with root of 3 minus i on the denominator there, we don't really want imaginary parts on our, on our denominator. So in order to get rid of that, we'll use our difference of two squares formula. Our difference of two squares formula tells us that a minus b times by a plus b is a squared minus b squared. And by squaring the imaginary number, it gets rid of our imaginary number from the denominator. So in our case, in order to get rid of the i in root 3 minus i, we're going to multiply by root 3 plus i. So we multiply both the top and the bottom of the fraction by root 3 plus i. So if we expand out the terms in the top, at the top of our fraction, we've got 9 root 3 times by root 3 is 9 times 3, and we've got 9 root 3 times i and 9i times by root 3, which gives us plus 18 root 3i, and then we've got 9i times by i, which gives us minus 9. And on our denominator, using our difference of two squares formula, root of 3 minus i times by root of 3 plus i equals root of 3 squared, which is 3, minus i squared, which is minus 1. So if we simplify that a little, 9 times 3 minus 9 is 18, plus 18 root 3i on our numerator, and 3 minus the negative 1 is 4 on the denominator, and so we've got 18 over 4, which is 9 over 2, plus 18 over 4 root 3i, which is 9 over 2 root 3i. So that makes things a bit easier for us to get our modulus of our, our argument. To get our mod modulus, it's like using Pythagoras' theorem. We say the modulus of 9 over 2 plus 9 root 3 over 2i is equal to the square root of the square of the real part and the square of the imaginary part added together. So the square root of 9 over 2 squared plus 9 root 3 over 2 squared, which is equal to the square root of 81 over 4 plus 243 over 4. 81 plus 243 is 324. So we have the square root of 324 over 4. Now if we cancel out common factors, we can divide by 2, the top and bottom, and we can divide by 2 again, leaving us with the square root of 81 over 1, or the square root of 81 equals 9. So our modulus, our value for r, is 9. We just need to find our argument now. Now to find our argument, if we draw a little sketch, we can see that the x component there is 9 over 2, and the y component is 9 root 3 over 2, and using trigonometry we can use our tan function. Tan theta is the opposite over the adjacent, so in this case tan theta is 9 root 3 over 2 divided by 9 over 2 which is root 3. So if tan theta is root 3, that's a standard angle that we don't need our calculator for. We know straight away that theta is 60 degrees, or as they've given us the question in radians, we'll stick with radians, pi over 3 radians. So we can write our z as r e to the theta i is 9 e to the pi i over 3. For the second part of our question, we want to get the two square roots of z. We can use the fact that we now know it in exponential form to make this part easier. 
So if z squared is equal to 9e to the pi i over 3, then we know that r squared is 9, and we know that 2 theta equals pi over 3 plus 2n pi. This is based on the fact that the square of the magnitude, we square it, but when we've got a square and it's the argument we're looking at, we basically, we've got double the argument, and we add on our 2n pi, because every 360 degrees, every 2 pi, we get the same argument crop up again and again. So if, if r squared is 9, r is 3, we can forget our minus 3, because we're talking about a positive length. And if 2 theta is pi over 3 plus 2n pi, then theta is pi over 6 plus n pi. So we've got our r as 3. The theta, we need to check which ones fit within our given domain, which is that theta must be between minus pi and pi. Well, clearly, if n is 0, pi over 6 is between minus pi and pi. How about if we add n's to it? If we, if we try by subtracting 1, uh, if we make n into minus 1, we've got pi over 6 minus pi, which is minus 5 pi over 6. That's between minus pi and pi, so that's fine. And if we try n as 1, pi over 6 plus pi is 7 pi over 6. That's greater than pi, so that's no good for it. So obviously anything outside of those is going to be too big or too small. So we've got two answers. Z is equal to 3e to the pi i over 6, or 3e to the minus 5 pi i over 6. And so if we work through and look at our marking for this question, we get our first method mark for the method of multiplying through by root 3 plus i, showing that we know about this um, difference of two squares formula. We don't have to be accurate, but we have to apply that technique. And then we get an accuracy mark if we get either a correct numerator or a correct denominator at the stage where we got 18 plus 18 root 3i over 4, with the third and final accuracy mark for the correct 9 over 2 plus 9 root 3 over 2i. And then in the second part, we've got a method mark for finding our r and our argument, so finding that we've got a magnitude of 3 and that we've got an argument of pi over 6 plus n pi, and then we get one accuracy mark each for each of the two answers, 3e to the pi i over 6, or 3e to the minus 5 pi i over 6. That's the end of today's question. I hope you found that useful. Any questions or comments, please, please feel free, whether you're watching this on the website or on the YouTube site, you can comment in either place. Um, if, you, if the video is useful to you, uh, we recommend that you subscribe so that you get updated of any other questions that come along and uh, please feel free to browse the website at www.mathswithdavid.com for similar answers. Thank you for watching and goodbye.